So what is the application of channel packing? How can we go ahead and pack an image? Well, in this video, we'll take a look at channel packing using a 2D image editor, because for the most part, this is pretty much how channel packing used to be done. Now, with the advent of particular software, such as the Substance Suite, we have new ways that are better integrated to allow us to channel pack. However, I think it's important that we first take a look at the behind the scenes of images and channels using the old fashioned way in 2D image editors. Now I've chosen to use GIMP because it's free and open source and allows for channel manipulation. So it's gonna be a perfect choice just for anybody that's trying to follow along. However, be aware that there are some applications out there that don't really allow for channel packing in the most convenient sense of the term. That being said, the concepts learned in this video are applicable to any software that does allow for it. So if you're using something like Photoshop, you'll be able to follow along pretty much just as well. So in my project, or should I say several projects, I've got each texture map loaded. This is our roughness, here is our metallic, and here is our ambient occlusion. So if you've seen the previous video where I explore what channel packing is, you can probably recognize this as an RMA channel packed map. Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And you can tell that these are grayscale images, well, one, because they're gray or you know non-colored, but more accurately, if we go into the channels, you can see that they only have one channel being gray. So from these textures, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new texture map, which is going to be our packed image. So I'll go ahead and create a new 2K image. However, I wanna make sure that it's not grayscale because we need the RGB channels, right? That's the whole point of channel packing. So I'll make sure that this is an RGB image and hit okay. So I'll come over to my roughness here and I'll select everything with control A to marquee select the whole thing and I'll hit control C to copy. So I just wanna copy and then go into the channels of this image and if I just hide our red and our green, right? Or sorry, our green and our blue, we'll get a full red because our red channel is completely white. However, if I select this red channel and then control V to paste into this guy here, you can see essentially what it's done, right? Is we've got our tiny little roughness texture in there and it's essentially using it as a mask or an intensity guide to tell us how much red is in various areas. So if we look back to this area here, right? With the pretty much pure white, that's going to give us, ooh, getting a little close for comfort there, pretty much pure red. So this is essentially what's going to allow us to hide or pack these masks into the channels because even though it's displaying as red for our image, it's not actually turning it red. It's still keeping or maintaining the grayscale information. So we can go ahead and do the same thing for our metallic here. If I just control A, control C, come over to our green map here and paste our new image. So if we go ahead and just hide that there and paste our metallic into there, right? So we can see that this is our metallic. So any of the areas that are pure white are going to contribute to green color. However, any areas that are black or darker are going to contribute less to the point where there's really no contribution at all, but we're still maintaining grayscale value. So I think you get the point. And you can see that as I view our red and green together, we're actually able to see what those color contributions are going to do. Now I'll come to the last image here, our ambient occlusion. Again, control A, control C. And for our blue here, I'll just go ahead and paste that there and swap this guy in there. So now, right, our ambient occlusion is now in the blue channel. So at the end of the day, it's really not any more difficult than that, nor does it really need to be. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Affinity Photo. By sliding our grayscale images into the color channels of a new image, we're able to actually significantly cut down on the amount of texture resources that we're providing it. However, we're still maintaining the same information because we're not using this kind of colorful neon blob of color information. We're using each individual channel to speak for itself. Now, all that's left to do is go ahead and save our image as the file format that we want. And just like that, we've channel packed.